What's going on, you guys? Mugit Soul back again with another comic book review unboxing. Or not unboxing, my bad. Review. And today we're going to be reviewing the New 52 uh, Nightwing series, which spans five volumes in paperback form. Uh, probably hardback to hardcover too, but I don't know. Uh, basically, the story, you know, of the first... Robin, Dick Grayson, he went on, on his own thing and became Nightwing. And I got to be honest, I really enjoyed this series. Uh, the character of Dick Grayson in this series is really good. And basically, I like they did this one story where it intertwined with his backstory and kind of his past. And I liked it because honestly, I don't know much about uh, Dick Grayson, the character. So I like this. You get to kind of know more about him and it lets you connect with him more as a character. And I really like that. And I do like that uh, he was more or less on his own. Not the whole time. He does uh, meet some other heroes and stuff. But I do like for the most part that he was on his own for this series because it shows that he doesn't need... Because since he's not a psychic anymore, he doesn't need help anymore. He's his own hero. And I, I like that because it showed that he could stand on his own two feet. And, of course, we already know Nightwing. He's been around for a while. But me personally, I don't know not much about him. But I did like it that – like I, I know I'm sounding repetitive here, but I just got to stress. I did like that he stands on his own. He doesn't need Batman's help or Batgirl's help uh, most of the time or anything. Like, yeah, they do meet, but – it's not like, you know, he's dependent on him, which is very nice because it shows that he's grown. He's no longer the sidekick. He's his own hero. Uh, it does tie in with one of these, vo some of these uh, volumes or issues in the volume do tie in with other, uh, with a Batman New 52 volume. But I feel like if you could follow it just fine because I did it without being confused. Uh, another thing is it is split into like certain sections. Uh, not, it's not just one continuous story, which is pretty nice. Uh, one of the things I did like, there was one story I liked towards the, uh, towards the end. I don't want to spoil it, but I, I really enjoyed it basically. Um, and it did keep Kyle, uh, Kyle Higgins the whole way through. And I liked how, what he did with the story. I thought it was good. Uh, I'm going to show off some art here real quick so I can avoid rambling. Uh, the one thing they did change is Nightwing does not have his blue outfit. He does have this red outfit now, which isn't a big deal to me, but to some people it would be. Just going to show that off, some artwork. It's very nice, very shading is nice. Uh, the shading is nice, the colorization is very nice to look at. It's just very, very good art all around. Uh flip through a little bit more i know i've been kind of vague on it it's just i don't want to get into it because i have a habit when i start talking the plot i start talking spoilers um but the villains are good uh, you know this, this usual villains show up i'll let you guess who it is but there's a couple surprises here and there uh, i really liked and then there's the of course the original stories that kind of resonate with his backstory that i really liked how it's coming back to like haunt him in a way i really enjoyed it uh another thing i did enjoy about this was basically uh whoops the camera accidentally shut off but yeah what i was saying was i do enjoy how in in my opinion uh maybe not some others because they're more experienced comic book readers than me but there were some moments that surprised me that i enjoyed certain reveals of characters and all that that show up randomly uh, and I, I, I did enjoy it. Uh, and, and you can find these five volumes, at least in my opinion, when I was looking, you can find them for very decent price, uh, about eight, eight bucks a book. Uh, I paid, I think nine, nine bucks a book, which is pretty decent considering their, uh, how much are these things? They are about 17 bucks a piece. So yeah, I definitely saved some money there. Uh, don't buy these retail. Don't buy them retail. They're not, in my opinion, they're never really worth seventeen. I would buy these if they were ten dollars. If I went into a Barnes and Noble and found these for ten dollars, I'd be buying them all day. But they're just, it adds up and it kind of forces me to buy them used when I would rather have them new. But oh well, that's the price I pay. Um, pretty much, kind of rambled on for this review. But yeah, if you, uh, basically Nightwing, I really enjoyed it, even though I didn't know much about the character. I felt it, I was looking up to see if I could be able to read it because since I didn't know much about him other than he was the first Robin. But I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed his interaction with, with some other heroes that show up and the villains, the ones that we know and the original ones for this work. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot and I'm hoping 
to because there's a there's another series that he's in called uh, Grayson that I'm excited to check out and I'll maybe I'll do a review on that we'll see but uh, yeah if you enjoyed this video give it a like comment down below if you want to and subscribe for more videos peace bye.